How's it going? I hope you're having an amazing day. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the Google Ads Keyword Planner tool to actually forecast and start to create a plan around what you can expect if you were to run Google search ads and what keywords you can target and how much it's gonna cost you based on what you're targeting and where you're targeting, right? In terms of a cost per click, a cost per conversion, what your expected CTR can be, and overall just forecasting how much budget you should spend. Overall, it's an extremely useful tool, so I'm very excited to share this with you today and how you can best utilize this tool. And overall, it's gonna get you way better results in your Google Ad account. So let's go ahead and jump in and let me show you how to use this. All right, so to kick this off, you're gonna to wanna to jump into your Google Ad account. If you don't already have a Google Ad account created, I have another tutorial on the channel where you can watch that, where you can set up your entire Google Ad accounts so you can get to a page that looks like this. I'm currently in expert view, so if you're not seeing a page that looks like this in your Google Ad account, make sure to switch it over to expert view so you can see um, the details as they're laid out here, right? So from here, what we're gonna to wanna to do to navigate to the Keyword Planner is go up and click on Tools and Settings and then we're gonna to wanna to click over to Keyword Planner. Awesome, so once we're in the Keyword Planner, you're gonna see there's a couple different options that we have here. We can discover new keywords, we can get search volume and forecasts for keywords, or we can organize keywords into ad groups. Now, what I would suggest starting out with is go ahead and explore and try to discover new keywords that you might not have thought of related to your business or products and just start to get an idea for different keywords that you wanna add in to your keyword plan that you can at least get an initial idea about. And then once you actually get those keyword ideas and add them to a plan, then you can actually get the search volume and forecasts. Uh, again, I would just start here to ideate, like get ideas, get keywords, right? And then here, we'll be able to do that actually in this step to be able to build that forecast out. So we'll go through all of that here and I'll do a few different examples of some different businesses that you can use uh, as a case study example here for how to use this tool. So let's click on discover new keywords and let's just start out with ourselves, right? So let's go over to Jetstream or right, digital.io and let's grab our URL and let's pop that in there. And let's say we wanna target, you know, we wanna go pretty broad. We wanna target, you know, United States and Canada uh, as our location targeting because we can work with brands, you know, in that region, similar time zones, right? So we can use the entire site, not just the homepage. And, you know, let's just kind of start that out as a, as a, you know, a first initial idea here for getting some keyword ideas. So you can see here, uh, it's populated in some different stuff, a digital agency, digital marketing agency. Let's filter by total average monthly searches. Advertising agency is 10,000 to 100,000 searches per month. So a lot of demand for advertising agencies um, with that particular keyword. We have agencies, digital marketing, we have companies, digital marketing, internet marketing agencies. So yeah, we have a, a few different things, right? You can see the year on year change is about 900%. So I would, I would assume a lot of this traffic as well is gonna be people who are interested in agencies to start as a business model, not necessarily looking for services as an agency, but you know, this, this has definitely grown in popularity since, um, which is kind of interesting to see. So um, what we can actually do here is you can start to click some of these and add them into a plan, right? So I'm gonna start to select some of these that I think are good to bid on, right? And you can look at the keyword estimates here as well. So I'm gonna select on internet marketing agencies. I'm gonna do advertising agency because that's what we're specifically focused on. We're not really as much of a marketing agency. So we wouldn't wanna target just digital marketing, for example, as an agency. So let's try ad agencies. Let's do ad companies. Let's do advertising company. Let's go ads marketing agency as well. Let's do ad marketing agency. Let's go advertising agency online as well. So we have eight keywords selected there. We have a, a, a range of some more uh, popular keywords and then some less popular keywords. And then what we can do is actually save these keywords, right? And add these keywords to a plan. So what I'm gonna do, you can like select that, right? So, and then go ahead and click add them as a plan, right? So now you can see they are added as a plan. And then from here, what we can do is actually go over to forecast, right? And then we can select just all keywords here, done. And then you can see it's actually pulled in all of those keywords that we just selected. And it's gonna give us a forecast here based on our targeting uh, of you know what the actual range is for those keywords um, so that we can get an idea as far as like actual cost per click. We can estimate some conversion rates and things like that as we go here. So what I would say is just change the draft name here to you know your company name. So I'm gonna say Jetstream Digital Advertising Agency, right? As a plan, you have to change this as well again to the United States. So I'm just gonna add that in there. Again, you can play around with that here for languages. Uh, I'm gonna add in English, although it's not necessarily necessary because again, nothing really changed uh, because 
they're both you know primarily English speaking countries. As you can see here, it's gonna show the, a forecast for the next month. What you can do is actually do a forecast for next week too, and what the budget would look like if you were just a bid on you know next week. You can go again next month, you can go next quarter to get a longer time frame, and then you can potentially go all time as well and what that would look like, right? So I'm gonna go next month, just get an idea there. You can change the keyword type here from broad to phrase match. So I'm gonna do that as well. And then you can see here that the, the cost per click actually uh, goes down a little bit. You're gonna get less impressions, or sorry, the cost per click goes up a little bit. You're gonna get less impressions overall, but it should be a lot more targeted than if you were, were to go broad match, right? And it's gonna say the CPA is gonna go up. However, um, in general, I like to use phrase match. And so actually I find the CPA is lower than if you go broad match, but Google is gonna tell you that. So. Uh, just something to be aware of there. So I'm gonna leave that at phrase match. And then again, we can see all the different keywords here and, and which ones are generating most of the actual clicks, right? So ad agency is generating about 527 clicks at $30 a day. Ad companies, again, this is kind of based on volume here and it's giving us estimated uh, CTRs and estimated cost per clicks as well. So what we can change around with this uh, is start to get an idea for the conversion rate. So say for conversion rate, it put us at a 3.21. That's potentially an industry average that it's pulling out. I'm not exactly sure where it came up with that conversion rate that it kind of gave us there. Uh, I'll just say 2% here and I'll just click save. And then I will change the daily budget as well to, let's see here. This is where it's really useful. You can start to see, is there diminishing returns, which there always is as you scale up the budget. You can kind of see here, if you were to spend more than 25,000 per month, you know, there's no real benefit. Right, and your kind of sweet spot is somewhere in this middle of the of the early stage bell curve here. So you can see at thirty five dollars a day, we can get about fifteen conversions. At about you know, uh, you know, ten dollars a day, yeah, at about eleven dollars a day, we can get about nine conversions. At about forty dollars a day, right, we can get about sixteen conversions. And then at about eighty dollars a day, we can get twenty conversions. Right, so there's diminishing returns the more you scale your budget, and that that's applicable for all advertising accounts in general. But it's good to play around with that and kind of see how much you're looking to spend on a daily on a daily budget and then how much actual impressions there are and if it's actually enough volume there so it makes sense for you to actually bid on those keywords or if you need to add in more keywords in, you know in order to hit that kind of daily spend that you want and your targets for growth but the less budget you have the more targeted you want to get with your keywords and your plan overall to maximize essentially you know what this conversion rate is because you're bidding on really really relevant keywords so i'm going to leave this at two percent and i'm going to add in this budget at forty dollars Given these estimates here, you can see we're right in this range. We're gonna spend, we're gonna get about 785 clicks over the course of a month, spending about 1.2K Canadian at about a $79 cost per acquisition. This would be pretty generous. I wouldn't expect honestly to get a conversion as far as like a call um, or even a lead for that cheap in this space. But anyway, $79 uh, cost about, again, 1.2K. CTR about 8.3% and cost per click is about 1.58. So this gives us a really good estimate just adding these initial keywords. And then you can see, you know, where most of the volume is, about 88% is in the United States, about 12% is in Canada. And then you can get some other insights here as well, as far as uh, top cities, potentially too, New York, Los Angeles, Toronto, Philadelphia, Chicago, right? And then you can go municipalities as well. I don't think this is, yeah, no, yeah, this doesn't really give you much, much insights there, right? But again, kind of clicks, you can kind of look at that as well and see how that distributes there. So very, very interesting, very, very useful tool. And then from this, what we'll typically do is then take this plan and actually implement on it in the actual ad account. So that's how you pretty much wanna use the keyword planner tool to forecast some things. I'll give you another example of a different business and how we can you know, do this for a local business where you can get more granular and more targeted on the actual location targeting, add in some different keywords and how you can estimate a, a forecast using the keyword planner for a different case as well. Before we do that though, there's a couple of the things here to point out. So we have saved keywords as well, which is again, those keywords that we added to our plan. You can kind of look at them all here. You can add in additional keywords as well. If you have additional keywords that you want to add into your plan, you can go ahead and organize those keywords. Don't really leverage this tool too much, but once you create the campaign, you can actually do some things here with this. And then you can create a negative keyword list as well, which is good and very useful to start to build out um, specific negative keywords for a particular campaign that you know you know you don't want to be bidding on, right? So for exact strategies for how to actually build a search campaign and add a negative keyword, it's a little bit more technical, 
but I'll be creating another video for actually how to do that. So stick around for that. Make sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on that. So before we create the second plan, I'll quickly just show you here what the other options that you can click on are. You can get search volume and forecast here. So essentially you're just skipping a step and you're adding right away the keywords that you're wanting to bid on are. So if I was to go into here and just search for ad agency or as a keyword and just want to go get started, it would just add in that keyword here and you can see it creates a new plan like we already did, but you're kind of skipping that step where you're selecting those keywords, getting ideas, and then adding them into the plan, right? You're kind of just going right to adding in the keywords that you want to bid on. So don't recommend typically going straight for that unless you know exactly what you want to bid on, but um, usually starting out with the ideation in the other step works better. Then you also have organized keywords into ad group. I don't really use this option too much, um, but it is an option to essentially use this and then start to add in to different ad groups that you might already have running and just organize that better um, and, and kind of use this more on the fly to upload keywords more rapidly. So let's go back to the keyword planner and let's do one more example of how you can set this up for a more local business. So let's go again, discover new keywords. So we wanna target Winnipeg. So let's go ahead and click on save so we can get a little bit more granular on that. And then again, let's say we are, we're a physiotherapy clinic and we wanna target physiotherapist related keywords. So uh, I'm just gonna go physiotherapy, right? Just keep it simple. You can add in a couple stuff here. Um, physio, physiotherapist, right? That's all we really need to add in. And then just from that, that should give us like everything related to physiotherapy and related services that we want. You know, if you also offer like, let's say chiro, chiropractor services, right? You can add stuff like that in acupuncture, and then we can just go ahead and click on get results. Now, same thing. We're going to have a lot of different keywords getting pulled into here, right? And these are on broad match, right? And are kind of showing us a lot of different stuff here, but you can see, you know, it's, a, it's asking us to add in and broaden our search a little bit here. So I'm actually going to add in um, physiotherapist clinic here. So let's go ahead and click on get results. And then we can add in even more stuff here. So as we can see, we can go through here and again, do the same thing. We wanna target physiotherapy near me. We wanna target physio near me. We wanna target best chiropractor near me or chiropractor near me. We wanna do, you know, a physiotherapy center near me, best physiotherapist near me, right, for example. So we can just add all these in again, add keywords to create plan. Awesome, so now these are in our saved plan. We can go ahead and navigate over to forecast, click on all saved keywords, click on done. This plan will now be created. Again, rename this to Physiotherapy Winnipeg. Awesome. Again, you have to change this location to be Winnipeg again. So now that we've added that in, we have our keywords here. Again, we can get an idea for estimated forecasts. Uh, we can do a drop down here and we can see at spending $30 a day, we do need to add in some more keywords because we're kind of capped for conversions here. Um, we are starting to hit some diminishing returns. So it'd be better for us to spend about $400 a month versus, you know, $900 a month because we're, there's very little, you know, returns beyond, you know, about that $330 mark or that $300 mark, right? For about 16 conversions. So what I would say for that is just, you know, start out about $10 a day based on these estimates. And then obviously if we want to spend more than $10 a day, say we want to spend, you know, $30 a day, what we can do is increase this to about, you know, $30 a day and, and we have to add in additional keywords essentially to increase the total volume that we can actually bid on to then increase our conversions and the cost per conversion, um, you know, staying within kind of KPI range there. Again, it's giving us an estimated conversion rate of 6.6%. Uh, I think that's pulled, pulled up from estimates based on this industry and the keywords that we're targeting. So again, you can adjust that if you think it's 5%, if you think you're gonna get a 10% conversion rate, you can adjust those and then you kind of see where you land in that scope and the two things that you can adjust again are going to be the actual uh, total daily budget and then your conversion rate and then you can adjust this as well to go to clicks instead of conversions and you can see how the clicks would trend as well and again you get diminishing returns as far as clicks go the more you spend so you do want to be in, in a sweet spot range here so that's pretty much how i use the tool to forecast the total volume on particular keywords again just going through here i'll add in additional keywords right i'll i'll, I'll keep kind of playing around with this playing around with the conversion rate, playing around with the daily budget until I have a strategy for based on what I'm targeting, what I'm thinking that makes sense. And I can get an estimate for, you know, what the cost per click is going to be, what the CTR is going to be, um, what I can expect as far as a cost per conversion and how much clicks I can have based on, you know, my budget or 
I can get an idea for how much I actually should spend as far as the budget goes using this tool. So an extremely valuable tool. I hope you found this valuable and you know, definitely give it a shot for your business to understand how to you know, properly bid, some new ideas for keywords and what the potential could be with Google Ads before you actually turn on any Google ads themselves and start burning some budget potentially. Awesome, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial of how to use the Google ads keyword planner. If you're new around here, my name is Blake Bauer and I run a digital advertising agency called Jetstream Digital. So we help brands grow and scale with digital ads. If you wanna learn more about that and apply to work with me and my team, you can find the links to that in the description below. If you did like the video, make sure to like it, right? Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the latest content. I'm gonna be publishing a lot of new content on a weekly basis and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought as well. Thank you so much. Catch you in the next one. Peace.